He's averaging after four legs over 101. 100. That was a tight game, isn't it? It's a Titan. Between the Titan and Little John. 84, but it might not be looking like a tight game in a minute. The scoreline looks set to go 4 1. Go for it. And this time he's not. Not feeling quite as cavalier as he was in the opening leg, but perhaps because the cushion of points he's got isn't quite 80, as big as it was in the opening. And also, 1 2 7 is not as showy off, is it? Doing everything right so far. Roby John Rodriguez does lead the game 4 1. Business and didn't let legs get stressy. 99. Not enough to leave a finish, but he has got a chunky lead on the Austrians' throw. And Dirk van Dijvenbode might have just become favourite for the match. 100. But in a game that has seen a lot of missed doubles, how confident are you? that chances will be taken in swift order when they're presented. So Rodriguez nine, won three nine. legs on the spin to lead the match 4-1, but he's lost the last three. And whatever he does here, he's hoping that the doubles desert Dirk once more. Nine, he only had three. one at tops in the previous visit, hit it in the previous leg, sorry. This time he's got two, a double eight. And he hits it with a first start. And it's now four legs on the spin. And he does take charge. Dive and Boda. 174, 170. They're the numbers he's thinking of. But he'll take that. To leave the same checkout he completed to take the lead in this match for the first time. In the last leg. 133, and you're going 76. Win it now, or run the risk of not winning it at all. 60. He's running the risk against Rodriguez, who steps up 50. to try and force a sudden death shootout. Two 16s, two eights. One leg will decide which one of these players will progress to the quarter-finals here at the Czech Darts Open. He would have won five legs on the spin from 4-1 down. He didn't, and even that 180 and even the scream may be completely futile. Double top for the Austrian. Now he's Mr. Match Dart, but he will get more. Van Dijvenbode's stuttering start has cost him massively in this last leg decider. In a game that swung one way, then the other. Three legs on the spin for Rodriguez, then four for Van Dijvenbode, who missed a couple of darts to make it five and win. But it is a win for Roby John Rodriguez. Will get a shot at 82, but there's a chance to apply some pressure. A 140 will do that, a 180 will apply real pressure. Maybe that early break will just be the difference. But the 140 does put pressure on the Portuguese player. 17 for tops. Just checking it's in 25, doing the right thing. Yeah, we, we'd always, we always say that. We've now he's got to regroup. It's double three. Well, he's trying to do the right thing. Ended up hitting the wrong thing. And it's all gone wrong. Well, that's a mess even if he comes back, Chris. Absolutely. If Justicia doesn't take the 100, which he may well do now, two darts. Ah, uh, fair play. To but it flicked off the dart into the seven. Oh, that's right. 120. Lucky as well. But in a good position, the Souza. And that helps his position even more. He's got Six starts, minimum. Two, open up a two-leg cushion again. May go 25. Ah, brilliant dart. Went the aggressive way, sets at 24. 12 darts throw, 24 remaining. And Zosa regrouping well after fluffing his lines in the fourth leg. 
And the pair seem to be winning legs in sets of two right now. The first two to De Sosa. 46. The next two Just to Justicia. It's a quick fire maths. If that continues, what will the final Here score be? For the next two. Double. He's won the leg in this game. As simple as that. Special one making it look simple. Yeah, goes back to back 180s in leg one. It's taken till leg no eight to find another one. Here's the one hundred and two. One point in it, one leg in it. Just having to check what he's got left. 42, Jose. Ups for top. Fails to find it. And that constant having to check Jose, can take you out of your rhythm. I think it did there. Still on. Options. Treble 20. He may go treble 20 because he can use that as a guy to the left, but he may go treble 16. Yeah, right there for me. Double 14. To continue the pattern of this match. That's a really good finish. Especially after going into the five where it could have thrown him a little off track, but. He'll be disappointed if he doesn't get now. Is he making his move? Well, with his second maximum of the match to lead a two dart, and in all likelihood he'll get a go at it. Maybe not. Should have stayed, didn't he, Chris? Yeah, it looked like a very inviting guide. But now there's a chance to give him his full billing for Jose Antonio Justicia Parales to book his place in a quarter final on the Euro Tour for the first time. Double 11. We're just checking, 22 left. He asked the referee, George Noble. Big, big dart for the Spanish start. And it's wayward. It's the first time he's been really wayward on a double. Maybe for the first time thinking about the situation. The Sousa to Senders to a decider for the second consecutive match here on the final day and he does it and Justicia will get more match that he's missed one at double 11 he's got three in hand now for a massive massive victory to back up what was impressive victory over Johnny Clayton last night having a little word with himself before taking aim wrong bed now down for double three and again he's having to check he just looks a little unsettled as he tries to cross the finish line in what could well be his biggest win in PDC darts. No score. Wow, what a mess that was. Well, he looked unsettled and it, it was borne out, wasn't it? In yeah. both of the attempts to win the match. <laughs> All three darts at double. <laughs> some distance away. Uh, <laughs> Apologises to Jose, Jose de Stissier, but... Lentz. So is it, 19 treble, and we'll look for ball. 99. With a finish. You come down for 19s normally, it's for that 19 treble, then go for the ball. Well, yeah, well, these are the little bits that matter. Well, in these moments, sometimes he's so good that he gets away with it. He's got away with it there, but not because of his brilliance, but because, again, Costisha's faltering at the finish. And it's the first time over the weekend that we've seen Justicia Wilt. He's not out of it yet, but the Souza is going to have his turn to have match darts. He needs to at least halve his score here. Yeah, I agree. If he doesn't find a treble, yeah, and that could be the end of the road for Justicia, because even if the Souza doesn't take this out, no likelihood he'll be back. Tough break this will be. But just this year, for the Souza to complete the turnaround, he does it. One more lifeline, but it's a biggie for Jose. Well, surely not. He's looked so unsettled when trying to wrap up this win. And it's a long way away from the treble. Now he's relying. On De Sosa making a real mess. He continues to make a mess himself. 
been such an encouraging weekend for Jose Justicia, but it is the end of his weekend as Jose De Sota comes back and punishes him. We've seen what he did to Michael Van Gerwen on the Euro Tour, restricted him to one legged out, uh, one, sorry, oh, double. one that double. And Restricted seven. him to no legs at Yeah, that. no legs at that. And he dismantled him in the UK Open last year as well. So they've both got these surges. It, wow. it just looks more effective when New Countries does it because it's quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. Vandenberg, who's not slow by any means, but just a bit more methodical in his approach. Gets another chance to break. This time the bullseye. He missed three at double four on the last chance nice. he gets to get here. Luke will be quite at 32. Oh, wow. Dimitri That's too many, Luke. And Dimitri Vandenberg is right there to take advantage. He missed three darts to break a couple of legs ago. It's been it too deep coming, though, Dan, hasn't it? Yeah. Can he complete the job? Or well, is he going to let Luke Humphreys off the hook again? He is in the sixth time of asking. He has broken throw. He no matter wow. what the crowd tell you. Dimitri may only be looking at one dart at the bullseye at the end of this rather than a dart at the double because of that last dart yanked into the five second. Maybe double nine. No, bullseye. Missed it the previous leg. Got away. Missed it again here. But Humphreys here. Frustratingly, oh, he's got the 25. You often see dart plays at the ball. Oh, he can't respond. Humphreys has now missed. 11 darts and doubles in this match. He's been right there with him in this game, Luke Humphreys, but he's missed too many opportunities on the double. Dimitri hasn't been brilliantly clinical, he's just been a little bit better. Is he good enough here? Twenty-nine. Had a lot likely after that first dart. Humphreys to level us up again. The response from Luke Humphreys. Dimitri actually beat Luke in the semi finals on the way to one of those World Youth titles. But he beat him at the Worlds, he beat him in a semi final on the Pro Tour, Luke. And this would be three out of three in senior darts for him against Dimitri Vandenberg if he can get over the line. And that visit of 60 gives him a great opportunity. Yeah, the, the mate they had at the World Championship. Luke Humphreys dismantled it, four sets to one. Um, timing of Luke Humphreys, far from his best, but is in the driving seat. And even 84 is no guarantee to win the match. Just ask Jose Justicia. Made a right mess of the 84. Beats it down to a two darter Luke himself, though. 14. Double 11. And that's how you hit double 11. And look at the release from Cool Hand Luke. We do have some Czech representation today, of course, though. Adam Gavlas made it through to the final day. And you get the feeling that as good as this crowd have been, they've been great all weekend. They're kind of gearing themselves. They're, they're waiting for the arrival of their champion later. And Gavlas will do everything in his power to whip them up into a frenzy. Yeah, and I think they've shown plenty of respect, actually, mm. that, that there have been none of those that annoying trend of whistling not that I've heard no there's been a lot there's been some booing but been some booing. Care about that. and even for, for Gary and Price yesterday he got booed in the walk on pantomime style but not in the match yeah. against Adrian Lewis well this is the opportunity that Van Gerwen was craving a chance to break the Mickey Mansell from it was the one that Mickey Mansell would have been fearing was right to fear it because that's an 11 data and he will keep getting chances because his scoring has been excellent in this game 121st nine average i mean that's brutal 25 percent on doubles is pretty brutal so 14 two treble visits in the scoring stakes five three treble visits make it six He's looking for what would be a third 11 dart leg of the match. He's there again, Mickey Mantle. <laughs> asking the question. 
Annoying, isn't he? And he's causing problems for MVG, who misses again. And Mickey Mansell, who's been a pest to Michael Van Gerwen in this match, might be about to take pole position. He's got two darts. He only needs one. Instead, it is he who gets an 11 dart leg. Hit only a quarter of his double attempt. <laughs> Mansell had a chance, didn't he? He got in front in this match. It didn't seem to last very long. It's like Michael Van Gerwen had paid for a first-class seat and Mickey Mansell sat there when he went to the toilet. He came back, he said, Oi, mate, budge. Well, is there going to be any repeat of some of the madness we've seen in these last few legs? Maybe! Maybe there is! Well, it could have been 4-11 darters for MVG there. Has to find two trebles to leave a finish. There's one of them. Oh. Michael Van Gerwen to wrap up victory. And a bizarre contest. Because Evans is on a tricky little finish, 94. He looked to do a rub it earlier and throw one straight in the treble, but, but he has done that and gets two darts at double. But he's missed them, and this is a chance now for Rob Cross to claim control of the contest. Yeah, finished 70 for the second for the second time in the match. And these are the legs. Side matches, that's clinical again from Rob Cross. Different scale, Ricky Evans is slowly setting his up as well. And Cross can only set up or chooses only to set up on 129 by going the 20s route because Evans is out of finishing range in this leg and might be about to be broken straight back. Yeah, so Cross, who these sort of finishes have been pretty much bread and butter for him. It's the more straightforward one of 52 that he made a mess of. Is it 4 2? Is it? Yeah, missing, hasn't he? Missed two darts at double. So now Evans in in the previous leg. Evans then missed the dart at top to the 160 before cleaning up. Doesn't get a go at the 130 though. Just, he still has those little niggly errors in his game, Ricky Evans. He's getting there, but. That'll be a real chance to ignite this tie instead. Rob Cross just puts his foot back on the accelerator. 4-2. It looks like this is coming to an end in this leg because Rob Cross, time to tee up. 55. Well, hasn't teed up as he'd like. So Ricky not out of this leg yet. Yeah, it doesn't really help his cause there. Leaves 130. Romeo Trouble 20, double six, the usual plan for Rob Cross on this combination. That was the plan. And he ends up there anyway. Oh. 70. And Ricky will hope to make a better fist of this than he did the last time. He went into the five at his first start. Keep the shot alive. Bullseye to keep the game alive. No one here. But still may return, no margin for error when you're over double one. Can't pull it low. Replacing the quarterfinals. We go on. I have to say, didn't see that coming. But Ricky Evans unable to make the most of the misses. And Cross gets another chance to wrap up the win. Is it the old one up and one in? It is. And Rob Cross completes a 6-2 victory. Dave Chisnell. One hundred. Do you require eighty? He's within striking distance, Ross Smith. And these can be awkward. Oh, that's made it a lot easier. Chissy shaking his head because he's like, oh, well, the treble twenties are the start of legs when I want them. Sixty. Well, 
Now, can Ross Smith do to Dave Chisnell what Joe Cullen couldn't do to him yesterday at this stage? Remember, Cullen led 3-1 and had two darts for 4-1. Treble 17. No, he's not going to open up that two-leg uh, that two-break cushion. They go for 20. Well, he's already had a couple of darts at this target. No wow. score. Ross Smith will be a little bit frustrated that he left 66 off a of 107 now. Well, that tidies it up. Double nine. He's already hit this to get the early break. He's hit it again to get the other break. And there's the reaction. If Dave Chisnell's setter plays off, Ross Smith will look to tee that up. But this is good. Really good from Dave. Turn the corner, Dave Chisnell, last leg in a bit. Well, call it two legs. He should wrap this one up. need to stay up there really turns out it's a wise decision 100 they require 36 to she she reduce the arrears to one leg what's 4-1 down yeah. it's now 4-3 still Ross Smith in, it's in his own hands he's got the break um, second favourite deflates the opponent that as well yeah. really does if you're going to throw two 180s in a row, this is the best time to do it. Oh. 140. Well, five perfect darts puts Ross Smith in a brilliant position. And he convert that start into only his second ever Euro Tour quarter final. The setup play here. Ideally, he may go to 25 next. Is he going there now? A treble 15. Brilliant, oh, brilliant from Ross Smith. 65. How's that for? Bockle. We associate Bockle with another Smith, but Ross Smith's got plenty of it here. And if you're going to throw nine darts and leave 16, Dan, do it when you're throwing for the match. Over to you, Ross Smith, for the place in the quarterfinals. Surely from there. It is a magnificent leg from Ross Smith. 80, 162, leaves him a two darter. And Adam Gavlas all of a sudden. And started playing proper stuff. The last couple of times he's been on finishers, he's misfired with the first start. On fire all of a sudden. Two tens. Maybe he's two tenths. A sequence of seven perfect darts from Adam Gavlas there. Ryan Searle can't find the three he needs to complete that checkout. Seven perfect darts, it's six though, missed at the double. So far in this match, does that become seven? It does. Does it become eight? It does. And nine. And you can hit all the trebles you want in the world, but if you don't hit the double, you're not going to win any legs. And Searle steals again. Rod Harrington and Bobby George to commentate on, wouldn't it? Plenty of missed big numbers. And a story of trebles for show, doubles for dough. Fledgling gilding out in the wild. <laughs> Several thumbs up. 88. Oh, I like that. 25 would have gone down to a finish of 170. Nice thinking from Searle. Nice chucking from Gavlas. And that is Ford's. It's three 180s in the last three legs for Adam Gavlas. Piles pressure on this. Oh, this would really hurt. It's going to shut them all up. A 1-4-5 whopper from Ryan Searle. And we could have another dramatic climax to this. And as you can see, Gavlas missed his first 
11 darts at double and is three for three since. Good things come to those who wait. 78. Ooh, steady on, Adam. He's going to jump through the screen there like the girl in the ring. A slip 26. from Searle. It was already an advantage, Adam Gavlas in leg eight. And now he can pull miles clear. Oh, I love that. Very creative. What he was thinking if he if he hit the 25 with the first dart, he could have left something in that 130 range. 96. And once he hit the ball, he's been able to leave a two data. Good thinking. From the 20 year old check. Can he check out 96? Yes, he can. With three legs on the spin. In the opening ten legs of this, Adam Gavlas has hit five 180s and a 177. Can he produce another visit like that? Will it matter though? Because that is Ryan Searle's just second 180. Leaves 134 after nine. With everything that's gone on in this match, I think that's a titanic effort from heavy metal. Just trying to keep his head when everyone around him is losing theirs. It's right, isn't it? It's the threes and the ones. Yeah. Dragging those darts right over and over and over again. He's gone into the, into the fours when you look at the 18 so often. And it's left him with 99, which is a, a problematic shot. Gavlat is going to be on some kind of checkout. He should be. 183, come down for the 19s. Well, it is, and if he gets a look at the 164, wow. He may not, two tops. 39. Well, I'm not sure either of us are going to have the word if this goes in. We're not going to need them, but he will try and leave it as handily placed as possible. Up for treble 20. 64. Takes off the 64. Does he get another go? Or can Searle seal it here? It's in and out. And that's over the top. Absolutely savage. Is it fated for Adam Gavlas in his home country to reach the final session? It might be. away if you're playing John Park. There has been the odd accusation thrown at Adrian Lewis over time. Born in the Premier League against James Wade. Ninety six. Richie Burnett had a right royal row, didn't they? The, was it the players' championship finals? Yeah, what made it even funnier is it, it was during November, so Adrian Lewis named the square up and Adrian had a naughty tash. Game shot and that, the third leg. naughty finish. <laughs> just pose a question, Mark, and maybe it's just a, a sneaky journalist in me, but how much of a, a distraction would what happened at the end of yesterday's match be for Adrian Lewis? I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've only ever had... 79. A little disagreement with James once, and I wasn't too bothered about it the next day. But I was in a, a different state of mind in terms of where I was at. But it, it'll bug Adrian. But what will bug him even more that he's about to go 5 0 down here. And what will concern him is how comfortably Vincent's broke his throw. Vincent looking to make a quarter final for the first time since 2019. When he reached the qualifiers in Austria. Back in despite the 180. That last treble 19 helped his case. Six starts for a place in the quarterfinals of the European Tour for the first time since 2019. May not need six. Treble 10. 
And will return to see off Adrian Lewis. A real below par Adrian Lewis. Yeah, picked up a little bit, but left himself way, way too much to do. Jackpot who cut price yesterday. Could be on the wrong end of a real bashing here at the hands of Vincent van der Voort. Who has now missed a couple of match starts. And some nerves in M2 from Vincent, no one here. Is Adrian going to prolong this last 16 tie? What was, where's that one going, AD? Well, that one was spot on. I like it. Simple but effective. Vincent, though, should get some more match starts here. It's a good guide for Adrian. If he doesn't find another one, he'd be really disappointed. Yeah, that's disappointing. And by not even leaving 1 3 2 as a minimum. He's got work to do. Vincent 13, and this is a dilemma now. Yeah, where Adrian is. Don't blame him there, really. 50. Yeah, the age has never really Adrian looked. If you're based on what you've seen, he's done the right thing because it's never looked likely, and it was a good decision. Yeah, not just because of where Adrian was, but because where the, where the dart was made it harder to hit the. Yeah. So it's double 16 for the Dutchman, who gets there in the end, Vincent.